All right, you guys. So, uh, super shaky in the camera, I know. I'm sorry, I am sorry, but this is what driving in Wisconsin is like. We don't take good care of our roads, because what's the point, really? What's the point? Um, okay, so today has already started. I am vlogging today, which is pretty exciting. It is the 14th, it's around 9.15. And uh, yeah, I've already done quite a bit this morning. Um, so let's recap about what happened last night. Um, so <laughs> I totally forgot that um, I was having a friend coming over last night to watch uh, some shows. Uh, occasionally she'll come over and we'll like hang out and we made cookies last night and we watched um, People vs. OJ. Again, I apologize for the bumpiness, uh, which I have se I had seen before, but she hadn't seen it yet. And so, uh, ooh, that was a bad one. Boom. And so we were, uh, so we watched a couple episodes of People vs. OJ, which again is like super good. That show is amazing. Um, and then, so I never got around to editing this yesterday's vlog. I never got around to finishing my wig review video because she came over like right after dinner, basically. And I never had a chance uh, to get the rest of that stuff done. So I never did that, unfortunately. And then this morning, I already took Milo uh, to school and Chaz to work. But now I'm off to Mount Horeb to go to a meeting. So I, I think I've talked about this or I've mentioned it several times. I'm sorry, the camera is so shaky. Is this even worth it? Uh, I just wanted to do a car vlog and it's like gonna be nightmarish. Aha, hi guys. So this is actually a couple days later when I'm editing this vlog that we're watching right now. And um, yeah, the footage is just too bad. Like the camera is like the entire time. So I don't know what I was thinking, thinking like, oh, I can be just like those other vloggers that have awesome road systems and <laughs> they don't have any bumps in the road. It was nauseating. Like I was getting sick watching it. So I'm like, mm, let's just edit those parts out. So I'm just gonna sum up what I said in the car. That way it's not like all of a sudden things are happening and you don't understand. So basically I was heading off to a meeting for my church like volunteer position. So I am a member of the LDS church and in our church there are opportunities to volunteer to be leaders for either like the women's group or the men's group or like the youth groups or the children's groups. Like it's kind of a volunteer based thing. And um, basically when you volunteer for these like leadership positions, you're kind of like a mentor uh, or you help organize activities for that specific group. You help do church things, like you help with church activities, you help with um, like lessons and any other like needs that are needed in the community. So I specifically work with just the young girls between the ages of, well, they're basically teenagers. So I work with the teenagers, but specifically, the girls ages like 12 to like 18 that's kind of like my age bracket that i work with so like i help mentor them i help teach them on sundays like i do sunday lessons um we make activities for them like christmas parties and halloween shindigs and all those kinds of things but we also have midweek activities where we meet every wednesday in the evening um and we have to come up with like you know service activities or like spiritual lessons or we kind of learn different skills or we'll work on, I don't know, different projects. We'll go on hikes. We'll play games. Like it's just kind of a, a youth group basically. So this meeting that I'm going to Mount Horeb is where all of the leaders for the teenagers are meeting. So it's all of the teenage, all of the leaders that are in charge of the teenage girls. There's three of us that kind of make the committee, I guess you could call it. And we just meet together and we talk about the needs of the girls. Like maybe there are some girls that are struggling and they need maybe a little bit more support, either emotionally or just a friend. Um, we also talk about uh, activities to plan, like what kind of things we want to look forward to and what kind of activities we want to do for Christmas or New Year's or whatever. Um, we also talk about like topics for lessons, like what we want to talk about on Sunday, like in, in church. So that's why I was going to Mount Horeb. Okay, continue, continue. All right, we're done. Okay, that was a long meeting, guys. So our meeting started at 9.30. It is now 11.22. It was a long meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got everything done that we needed to. We have like activities and lessons and all the events planned for the rest of the year, which is really good. It's just now my morning is like shot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, what's he doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Treats. Treats. Good boy. Oh, you missed it. That's okay. That's okay. How you doing? Huh? How you doing? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time without me? Did you? Did you really? I hope you did. I hope you did. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I am home and I had a... I had some pumpkin tortellini that um, Chaz had brought home from work. It was really good. Like it was like a pumpkin cheese tortellini and then it had like roasted pumpkin seeds on top. It was very, very good. Um, so I ate that and now it is like 12.30 and now I have to start finishing up this wig review for Everyday Wigs. So I have, the video has been completely rendered and it's ready to be uploaded on YouTube. I have to do the thumbnail, the description, and and then I have to send it to Everyday Wigs. And so I'm gonna be working on this until it's time to pick up Milo from school. It's about two, like I said, it's almost 12.30 right now and I pick him up around like 2.20, 2.25. So I have a good like almost two hours to work on this and it sh it's not going to take me that long. I kind of wanted to do a video every single day throughout the rest of November, but I don't know if I'll be able to handle that because the week of Thanksgiving, I've got three, one, two, three nail polish reviews that have very large collections. Like it's the Zoya Fall, the Zoya Holiday and China Glaze Fall. And those are like big collections. Like there's 12 bottles in each of those. Um, and then I wanted to, to do the Orally Fall collection, which I think is only five bottles. Um, and so I have to do like the live applications of those. I have to do the bottle shots, I have to do the photos, and I have to film the video. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a video every single day, Thanksgiving week, because I just don't think I have enough time. Plus, like I mentioned in the car, I want to do a de-stash on Thanksgiving day and those in itself take like four hours to produce, like to film it and then to edit it and to upload it. Like it takes a good solid four hours for me to produce a de-stash. So I have Saturday and Sunday to work on stuff, but my parents are going to be in town. So it was much easier if I could just have everything already filmed. And then I don't feel uncomfortable about like going off and working when they're just kind of sitting and hanging around. I just feel like that's weird. Like I don't see my parents that often. I usually only see them around Thanksgiving and maybe like once in the summer. So I kind of actually want to spend time with them, but I don't know. I just don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, I am wasting time. I need to get some work done and uh, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right. <laughs> so it's, actually the next day, which may seem a little bit alarming to you because I'm wearing the exact same clothes, <laughs> but it is, um, what is today's day? It's Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, yesterday did not go so well. Oh wait, I forgot something. Uh, yeah, yesterday kind of, we, we hit a bumpy road yesterday in the afternoon slash evening and I just didn't pick up the camera again because... I was in a really, I was just really upset and I'm still kind of upset about it. So yesterday, I think the last thing I filmed was editing. I think I, I yeah, I was editing my wig review and stuff like that. I got that done, um, which was great. I was able to finish that off and get the, um, the link to Everyday Wigs. And then we had to pick up Milo from school and get... Um, him ready for music class. So normally in his class, it's just kids that are um, a part of the lessons, but yesterday was a parent day, so that's when the parents join in and um, do the lesson too. So we had that going on, and his le music class starts at four and goes until like 4.50, but then we have to drive home in like five o'clock traffic. So we usually don't get home until like basically like 5.15, 5.20, and so like right as Chaz gets home, we get home and we have dinner, um, and the evening just kind of takes off after that. But the reason it was a rough day yesterday was because um, I think I had mentioned in yesterday's vlog, or not yesterday's, but in um, 
Monday's vlog that my parents were going to be coming for Thanksgiving. Well, I got a phone call from my dad yesterday saying that they weren't gonna come now. Um, they're not gonna come, which I'm really upset about because I was really looking forward to Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is pretty much the only time I get to see my parents. Um, you know, my dad is a uh, my dad is a college professor, and so it's very difficult for him to get time off to go vacationing and whatnot. And yeah, he does have like summer uh, break, but he does summer courses, and he has like summer things that he has a bu busy schedule. Plus, um, you know, they're close to retirement, and they don't have a whole lot of money to travel. So it's like they're saving up for retirement and stuff like that. So it's very rare that I get to see my parents. Like I haven't seen my dad since last Thanksgiving. So my mom came for a little bit in March um, for a family emergency. So I've seen her, but I haven't seen my dad since last Thanksgiving. And I was really looking forward to them coming. Um, we were going to make tamales, which we haven't done in a really long time because I wanted to learn how to make tamales and I wanted to like uh, record it and I wanted to like get my mom making it and stuff like I was just really looking forward to it now that's not gonna happen and so I'm a little bit I was really disappointed about it I was like crying about it for a good like hour yesterday <laughs> I was really upset about it um, because I was just I was just really looking forward to it and it's still kind of upsetting a little bit as I think about it more just because I I've just I've had this desire the last couple of um, months to really learn more about my family tree. Um, my grandmother on my dad's side, we're pretty close. Uh, not like me and her were close, but like my grand, we like, we would always go to my grandma's house like every week. Like our, my grandma taught me how to play piano. Um, my grandma was very much involved in our lives and my grandfather too, cause obviously like they're together. But like, I was just really close to my grandma or at least I felt like, I feel like She's very much a part of my life. And uh, she died about five years ago. And um, very recently, I've been very, I've just been missing her a lot. I've just really been missing her a lot. I've just, I miss her humor. I miss her personality. I just miss, I just miss her a lot. Um, and so I started reaching out to my parents and I'm like, I, I miss grandma and I wanna learn more about her. Like, I really never took the time to like sit down and ask her like what her life was like um, and, and what she did in her youth and if she had jobs, like she's always been just grandma to me. And and it just kind of hit me a couple months ago. That's like, no, she was a person. Like she had like a life, she had a childhood, she had high school experiences. She never went to college, but you know, she had a family and she she raised a family and she dealt with the same things I deal with and I just miss her and I wanna connect with her and I and I just I just miss her a lot. So I've been asking my dad a lot about my grandma lately and just saying like I miss her and I wanna learn more about her and I feel guilty that I never had that chance to talk to her and I wanna make up for that. And so that's why I wanted to start learning more about my ancestors and where I come from and and like basically identity crisis, maybe, I don't know what it is, but I just wanna learn more about who came before me. And and I know this is like super like, okay, Winita, you're getting off on a tangent here, but I really love the movie Moana. Um, it, again, it kind of just speaks to me on like a subconscious, like spiritual level, which I know is, di is ridiculous because it's a Disney movie, like calm down, but just, the message that it gives about ancestors and learning where you come from and knowing who you are and respecting, I'm gonna get emotional, and respecting those that have come before you because you wouldn't be where you are if it weren't for those people. Like you literally would not be here in this body if it were not for those people that came before you. And the least you can do is learn about them because even though they're dead and they're gone, they were still people, they had names, they had dreams, they had jobs, they had families, they had problems. And, and the least you can do is, is don't forget them. Um, one of the, the songs that like I, was like my power song when I was training is um, Glorious by Macklemore from his like latest album. Um, that song 
if you haven't heard it, I will link it down below because it is, it, it is an amazing song. Like I just, I love it. Um, but anyway, so in this song, there's this line in there that just really like, just gets me right in the gut. And it says, uh, something to the effect of, they say that you died twice, uh, or the, I can't remember exactly how the rhyme goes, but the, the, the essence is uh, they say you die twice, once when your body enters the grave, and the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name. <sighs> and it gets me, like it just gets me, like I'm starting to tear up about it because it's like it's true. Like if some, the last time someone mentions your name is like it, that, that's it. And so I don't want that to happen with my family like with my ancestors. And so I was just really looking forward to my family, to my parents coming and to me, for me finally to learn more about my ancestors um, and, and recognizing like who is in my family tree. And I know, I know I can still do that stuff. I know there's like, I can still accomplish that and I can still do it and it'll still be fine. I was just really looking forward to it happening around Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is such a special holiday in general. Um, and now it's, it's not going to be exactly what I expected. So it's just a little bit of, um, a little bit of disappointment, which happens in the world. That's, it'll be fine. I just have to get myself out of this funk of like disappointment. I don't deal with disappointment very well. <laughs> so I need to like get myself out of this funk. Um, so today I've got several things I have to do. I bought a book to read to Milo's, um, kindergarten class. The book that we love in our house is this one called Are You a Horse by Andy Rash. It is just the cutest thing ever. And it's just the story of a cowboy who's trying to find a horse so he can ride, so he can use his saddle as a birthday gift. And he comes across like all these different animals and he's like, are you a horse? And they're like, no, I'm not a horse. And he's like, are you a horse? Like it's, it's awesome. It is a good, good book. Um, we don't own this book and the book is out of print. <laughs> You can't buy it anymore. So I had to find a used copy on Amazon. Um, and it said it was like in great condition, like it's been used, but it's good. It's missing two pages. It's missing two pages. So, and they're like the most important pages because you start the book and um, it starts out with like, you know, he has a birthday and it's his birthday and um, they're this and then we're, what? <laughs> uh, the picture that's supposed to go here is him holding what he got for his present, which is a saddle. And then he's like, well, what is this? And his friends are like, oh, it's a saddle you use on a horse. And he's like, well, I need to go find a horse. And then he asks, like, I think a wagon. He's like, are you a horse? And the wagon's like, no, I'm not a horse. And then he comes up to a cactus. So I'm missing like two pages. And it's like kind of vital for the storyline. So um, I'm going to return this, which I've never done with Amazon before. It's kind of a new thing for me. So I have to do that this morning and then I have to go to the library and try to find this book. The reason I didn't get it from the library in the first place is because they didn't have it at our local library. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy it and it'll get here in time with like Amazon Prime and it'll be no problem. And then it's missing two pages. So now we are going on a library hunt today um, to try to find a copy of this book because I want to read it tomorrow in Milo's class. <music> So this will be great. I'm excited we finally have a copy of it um, that I can use for tomorrow. And I probably will reorder because I really do want a copy of this book. Like I love it so much. Um, so I probably will order a copy of it, but now we don't have the pressure of getting it in time for Thursday. So now that that is finished, I already dropped off the a return to Amazon at the UPS drop-off box or whatever. So I got that taken care of. Um, it's about almost 1030. I think I'm going to go home and I need to get started on the square hue video. And honestly, I'm just not feeling it today. I'm kind of, I think 
I'm just a little bit blue still from being overly emotional yesterday. Like, you know how like when you have like a really good cry, sometimes it takes a while to like bounce back from it. Um, just because it's just all the emotions. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of feeling a little bit down. Um, I was planning on doing some editing today anyway, and I was flirting with the idea of doing some filming, but I'm just not in the mood today. Um, to do any filming. I think I might if I do any filming it's going to be like bottle shots or like live swatches. It's not going to be anything super Exciting just because I'm not feeling it. I'm just really not feeling it today. I'm just feeling blue but